Okay, so I'm posting this video because there was something that was on my mind and I just wanted to expand on it a little bit. And um, the thing is, I, I will put it like, I will say it like this. I want to pretty much express the importance of self-visualization um, more so the image of yourself that you possess um, how do you see yourself how do you feel about yourself um, what do you believe yourself to be you know and I want to I want to describe how powerful self-visualization is and the kind of changes and the kind of results in your life that it can reduce depending on you know how strong your vision is your your interpretation of yourself so uh as i described many times or as i informed you before i'm um displaced i'm homeless i'm living in a dilapidated area a dumpster area it's cleaned out and whatnot and you know it's it's good enough for my um standards for now you know just while i deal with these circumstances but um despite my surroundings despite my my living arrangements despite my financial standing the vision that I have of myself, the way that I, the way that I see myself, the type of person that I am, is extraordinary, in my opinion. I do not see myself as a bum. I don't. Even regardless of the fact that I am, I'm living on the streets. The way that I see myself, and I always like to say this. I may be a bum, but I see myself as a billionaire. I do. I uh, <laughs> I envision myself doing great things in the future once I overcome these temporary conditions. And it's 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 that it's that belief, it's that vision that I have of myself that is going to create the results in my life. Um, for instance, I'll, I'll use this as an example, and this is not to, to down talk anyone or to judge anyone, but it's just a simple observation on my part. Um, a lot of the homeless people that I, I observe, they look homeless, um, and it's not necessarily because they have to. I believe it's because to a certain degree, they have accepted the fact that they're homeless. And so the way they dress, the way they carry themselves, et cetera, you know, um, order, order, order their body language and whatnot. Um, it just, it shows that it shows their their uh, it shows their unfortunate condition, you know. But when I say that it's by choice, they don't necessarily have to give off that that image. I, I'll, I'll use myself an ex as an example. I choose to wear the best clothes that I can obtain, you know, with the money that I have. I choose to try to, um, and this is not to try to, you know, give off a false image. I, I really do could care less what people think, you know, as far as when they observe me. But I try to wear the best clothing that I can. I try to give off that image of a wealthy individual. And um, the reason that I do this isn't so much to impress the people who are watching me is 
more so to impress that that image in my own mind um because that's how i envision myself that's how i see my that's the person that i see myself on the inside and ultimately becoming on the exterior uh I don't know if I'm explaining it to the best to my capability. I'm trying, you know, the only way that I can. But I feel that if I accepted my condition, if I, you know, said, okay, you know, this is the way it is. I'm going to, you know, wear whatever clothing I can and, and dress whatever way I can. I could care less if people see me. I'm dirty. And, uh, you know, my hair's not in the best condition. But, you know, I could just say fuck it literally say fuck it and be like i could care less what i wake up as i could care less how other people perceive me i could care less how and this is the most important part i could care less how i perceive myself but if i do that then i can never escape my circumstances because change starts on the inside not on the exterior um so if i I allow myself to fall into that mentality that pretty much uh, that acceptance, that complacency, then um, I will be trapped because I don't even have the mentality to to visualize myself changing my, my, uh, my circumstances. So by, by literally, by literally um, choosing to give off that image to myself, I am in fact convincing myself that I am a billionaire and that I ultimately belong, um, ultimately deserve to live a higher at a higher standard, ultimately deserve to have the best clothing, um, to have more money than I could possibly imagine. And that's just, that's just the the idea that I choose to place in my mind um, because that's where I want to be.